Hey guys, this is Mark from Noltex and today I will be talking about Bitcoin's price. Currently we are trading at 63.41, um, haven't made much movement in the past 24 hours, I think about two days ago we did touch 5900 but luckily we recovered from it relatively quickly which means that the market didn't have time to panic. Uh, which is why we're back at the $6,300 level. When it comes to some news, people are blaming the recent lack of price movement on some comments that Brian Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase made. He pretty much said that Bitcoin is not quite yet ready for mass adoption and it still has a few hurdles or bubbles that it has to go through um, to really get to that point. He said, I quote, I think it will be quite some time before you cross the street to Starbucks in the US and pay with crypto. Yes, okay, you probably can't just technically directly pay Starbucks with crypto as of right now, but if you really wanted to buy your coffee with Bitcoin, you can go to gift.com, purchase a Starbucks gift card with Bitcoin and use that at any Starbucks. So I'm not sure I, I agree with his comments um, 100%. I mean, I see where he's coming from, but I mean, to each their own, I guess. Um, part of the reason why I want to say that people are not very interested right now in Bitcoin is I think we're still seeing the backlash from all these scam ICOs that happened back here in uh, December and January. I mean, back then you could issue an ICO for like a, I don't know, for like a, a simple iPhone app and you could raise over a million dollars just like that. In June, I don't think any ICO raised a million dollars. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I think June uh, was actually one of the lowest months that any ICO raised any money because people realized that most of these ICOs, I believe it was about 83 or 87% of ICOs are all scams. So people are really, you know, there's no other way to say it, but they're just butthurt. They lost a lot of money. You know, a lot of people, they feel scammed. They feel like crypto was just like a pump and dump scheme and they, they're not interested anymore. They don't care. So I don't know, usually around December, around the holidays, things usually pick up. Um, if you look, let's take a look uh, back here. Um, so if you look at, let's say November, well, December of last year, obviously we had a great bubble. If you look at, let's look at January here. January of 17, we also see we had quite a bubble. We went up to $1,200. So usually around the end of the year, beginning of the year, we have some positive momentum. Um, I do think they will also have positive momentum in, in about four months, but I don't think necessarily that we can surpass the $20,000 just yet. I am still bullish, but I just don't think that four months is, long, is enough time for us to really recover from all these uh, ICOs that happened. I mean, back then we had altcoins, you know, and all these altcoins were scammed. But in order to make an altcoin, you have to know some, at least some coding, you have to you have to be able to make a whole blockchain and you have to uh, you know, maintain it and if something forked, you have to kind of uh, fix it. So you need to have some uh, coding skills which made it a little harder to make altcoins. But when the ICOs came out with the ERC-20 token standard, anybody could make an ICO within 10 minutes. You, you needed absolutely no uh, coding skills. You could just even hire someone for like uh, 100 bucks probably and make, make you an ICO. It was very easy. And that's why so many people made ICOs. So everybody wanted to raise money. And, you know, that's when the scams, scams come in. And that's where a lot of people lost a lot of money. So I think it's going to take maybe even an extra year to really see a difference. But in the short term, um, I do think we're doing quite well. Just the fact that we haven't dropped to like 4,000, 3,000. And the fact that we're staying above the $6,000 level is great news. Uh, we already fought it once here. Very, It was very... We had a... Uh, the bulls and the bears really bat battled it out right here. It looks like we're battling it out again here. Um, this uh, was a little bit of a battle, not really, but it was way back when. But the fact that we keep battling this level is good because that means that 6300 is very strong support. Um, so I do think that if in the next, in the near future, we don't drop below 6000, I think that's one of the most important things. Let's not drop below 6000. And if that, um, happens we can keep that support i do think we can you know test seven thousand eight thousand hopefully close around the ten thousand dollars at the end of the year again this is my personal opinion if i knew the future i'd be like a billionaire by now uh but we just have to go off of uh uh you know our beliefs and uh the charts 
Um, so I think this is it for right now. Also, as I've um, been mentioning, if you guys are going to Block Show in Vegas, I will be there. It's going to be August 20th and 21st. Um, if you're going to be there, please hit me up in the comment section, Twitter. Uh, you can email me. I'm very excited to meet you guys. I might have a few extra uh, Noltex shirts if you guys want. I'll, I'll do some giveaways. Um, so yeah, my name is Mark. I'm from Noltex. I hope I gave you guys some useful information. If you like this video, I really appreciate the likes. I know I get one or two likes per video and whoever you are, you like my video, I really appreciate, appreciate it. Um, if you want to see more videos like this or if you want me to kind of switch topics a little bit, please let me know and hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, do the best I can. So thank you guys all for watching. My name is Mark. I'm from Noltex and I'll see you guys next time.